Okay, this I'm gonna make the rubber up for you uh, doing the um, your lionfish here. So here's the lionfish tip for the paralyzers. Those guys usually like six inch. I'm, I gave you a nine so you can have a little more options with it. But this works for lionfish too. Then we got the grip right up on this the back section of the tip, and then you'll put your back end into another section, and then put this on top. And you end up having uh, four feet of pole with the tip. So basically four feet to the grip that you'll have. Okay, that worked better than the other video. Okay, so you'll have the back section, middle section, front section, 48 inches. Typically, they uh, you want to do 3X. So static is one of the X's and then the, you pull it this far and that'd be 200% and then you pull it this far is 300% because people always say 300 it's actually 200 because a static is zero to me because it's just laying there doing nothing then you'll stretch it 100% to 200% but that's part of the games of the world where uh, they'll call out a 300 where they're actually a 200 so when they're not 300 300 would be doing one more X but that's if you, uh, anyway, you should understand that gimmick of many out there. Used car salesman stuff. Okay, so what I'm doing now, I got 3X. Static is one length, right? Which are 16 inches. Because if I take the 48 inches, there's three sections. I divide it 3 into 48, 16. So I got to make the first loops. I need 16 on both sides because we're making a loop, which means I need a 32 inch rubber. Let's see. Oh. I forgot to measure this out. So 32 goes right to the blue line right here. Right where the 32 is. Isn't that nice? So I'm going to go 32. And what I'm going to do... That pink line you mean? Yeah, that pink line's 32. Okay, and that's for you stretching all the way to the end. But I'm losing a little bit on the front. Because you're not going to grip all the way to the front. And you got the little wishbone on the back. But I'm going to give you a little more anyway because you don't need like maximum power for the stupid lionfish. So I'm going to add a little more to it. So I'm going to pull that off there. Cut the end off there. And then you take and stuff these into there. Not that anymore. My little tool thingy. <coughs> like being prepared. Is that the little orange thing? No, I don't want the orange one. I usually use an Allen. Here's an Allen. Just to stuff that up in there. Put a little moisture on there to get it up in. Take your your wire time before you put them on. Always look to make sure you got the little metal clip. We tend to check it before we send them out, but there's I've been there where uh, you're like, damn, it's not in there. So loop it through the other side of the knot. Nothing magic here. You want to crank on that, so since I don't want to hurt my hands, I come over to the vise. You can film the vise here. I'll clamp it in the vise, and then now I can pull it back and get a nice little cinch on it. You got that okay in the video? I think so. Then what you want to do, these electrical guys always, they always want to make sure you cut off these so they're nice and flush versus leaving at an angle, then you leave a sharp point that'll cut your hands. So always cut that off nice and clean. And you'll flip the rubber over. Oops. Okay. Put the other side in. Then I'll put the other tie on, and then you got your rubber. Yep. Okay, that's it for that one.